Hi, Chewy. You want to come out and visit? Huh? You want to come out and visit today? I'm never forceful with my snakes. I let them express themselves. And they'll let me know what they want to do. Right? Yeah. Hi, Baba. Hi, buddy. Always touch them and let, you, let them know it's you. Now, if they're due for a feeding, you definitely want to use a hook and tap them to let them know that you're not planning to feed them. You're just planning to reach in and touch them or pick them up or whatever you're doing. But always hook tap them just to make sure that it only takes you two seconds and it's well worth the, uh, eliminating the risk of you getting struck at if they're in feeding mode. Hi, pal. Where's my cute? Hi, baby. You want to come visit? Huh? Come come out? You want to see me? Come here. Welcome out. Here we go. Welcome out. <laughs> you can't go over there, though. No. You can come over here. Hi. You going to go back in? Huh? You don't want to come out? You don't want to come out and visit? Well, no, that's unusual. Usually he'll come out. I promised my friend Christy that I'd give Chewy a kiss for her. As soon as he gets through gallivanting here, I just took him out. But I promised her I'd give Chewy a kiss when I had him out today. What are you doing? Hmm? We're not going on the floor. No, we're not. Uh-uh. No floor. Come on. Uh -uh. Up here. Let's get up on the bed. There we go. <laughs> you're silly. Yes, you're silly. Can I give you a kiss for Christy? Huh? Can I give you a kiss? A friend of mine on Facebook, Christy Stout, she loves Chewy to death. She's just so in love with him. He's got a lot of friends. Can I give you a kiss? Yeah, it was a nice New Year's. I hope people have a lot of new resolutions for the New Year. I'd really love to see a lot less drama and a lot more snake education going on. Uh, people stabbing each other in the back, talking crap about them. That's not educational. That's not how you do snake education. All you're doing is creating friction and static between people. And that's not benefiting animals at all. There's so many people that really, you know, some of the snake groups on Facebook just blow my mind. I left every one of them because of their barbaric and just stupid beliefs that you shouldn't take your snakes out of their enclosures. You shouldn't handle them. You shouldn't make them social animals. They think it's cool to leave them sitting in a tank for the rest of their lives. I'm sorry. That's just wrong. That's cruel. Not all snake groups, but there are quite a few of them out there on Facebook that think that's how you're supposed to raise your animals. It's just crazy. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. Hey, hands up. Hey, hands up. You know, if you just go and keep them for, go go to an antique shop and buy yourself some sculptures to stare at. That's all these animals are to you. They deserve to have some freedom. They deserve to have some exercise. They deserve to, and you know, a stupid female in a group on Facebook, speaking of which, I won't mention names because now I'm not a scumbag like a lot of people are, but Trade tell everybody that my bow constrictors are overweight. She's a blooming idiot. She has obviously no clue that they get up to 14 feet and it's easy for an Argentine boa to weigh over 100 pounds. Now these are the type of people that are in these snake groups trying to educate people about snakes 
with wrong or no information at all. I'm not slamming Facebook. I'm slamming the small groups of snakes on there that have these idiots running these groups and attacking people that are knowledgeable and have a lot of years of experience. But, you know, if that's all a snake is to use something to keep in a tank to stare at and show off and like, yeah, I'm cool. I got snakes. Get rid of your snakes. You don't deserve to have them. You really don't. Sorry about the rant. I won't address people that think like that. And I definitely won't address people that talk like that. Because I'm not going to lower myself to their level of thinking. To humor them by even discussing it with them. You can only tell someone something once. If it doesn't sink in. They don't catch on. There's nothing more you can do. So the best way... To avoid a conflict is to avoid the people that are causing the conflicts. But, uh-uh, you can't use a computer. Get back off there. Yeah, there. These guys deserve to have a life. You're massive, Chewy. Good grief. 11-foot-long coastal carpet python. Oh, there's nothing up there for you. You hunting deeper? Bet he is. He's been reluctant to come out lately ever since she died, so I'm sure he's aware that she's gone. And he's over here looking for her like he was last night. She's not here anymore, sweetie. Her and Chewy were just the best of friends. Anytime I took him out, she came right up to him. She just loved him to death. But I promised Chrissy I'd make a video of me. Giving Chewie a kiss for her. She just loves him to death. And he's very lovable. He's a sweet guy. I just wanted to do a video. And I hope everyone has a happy and safe new year. You know, let's all look toward the new years with a positive attitude instead of a ne negative attitude. It's a lot more beneficial. You know, if you can't support people and be compassionate and caring toward them and what's going on in their lives then how can you call them a friend I, I people just blow my mind that's why I love my snakes that's why I've always preferred the, my, the company of my snakes over people because they're not critical and they're not into drama so I really all that aside the venting and the issues I have with some of the people that keep snakes um I just want to say have a happy new year and everybody stay safe and let's have a productive year for these animals hopefully please you gonna go get back in your house by yourself huh you gonna go get back in by yourself I guess you are you gonna go get back in your house huh? so I, can't, I don't know how to get through this glass He's trying to get back in this house. You want to go back in? I guess I'll stop the video and put him back in. Unless he's going in by himself. So I'm not sure how to do this. I'll put you back in, buddy. <laughs>